This is the $25 Walmart versus $25 Bass Pro Shops budget fishing challenge. Connor is going to Bass Pro Shops and your boy Noah is going to Walmart. We each get $25 to spend on five fishing lures. Whoever catches a fish on each of the five baits wins the challenge. The size of the fish doesn't matter, but let me tell you, there's a double digit bass in this video and also multiple other giants. All right, guys, we only get $25 for five baits. We're outside of Walmart right now, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside, see what we can pick out and put Connor to the dust. He's outside of Bass Pro right now. After he gets his baits and I get my baits, we're gonna meet in a random parking lot. And then from there, we're gonna split up in fish ponds. The first person to catch a fish on each of the five baits wins the challenge. But let's go ahead and get inside of Walmart and see what we can buy. It's been a while since we've been to Walmart. We filmed one about like six months ago and uh, you guys loved it. So I was like, we gotta come back and we gotta put Walmart to Bass Pro Shops $25 challenge. We actually haven't done one like this, like store to store. So if you guys like this content, let us know down below and comment down below what you guys think is gonna win. Do you think Walmart is gonna take the dub today? Or do you think Bass Pro is gonna win? I think Bass Pro has a better selection. I think Walmart has a little smaller selection, but the prices can be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get back here and see what they have. Guys, some of the best ideas come from when you're shitting on the toilet. And uh, I was thinking about the wake beach in there. So let's go pick out some wake beach. We have filmed a few Walmart challenges over the last year, but I could not tell you the last time I walked into this Walmart and picked out some baits. So we're gonna see what we got. Five baits is all we can pick. I don't know if Connor's thinking about this, but these five baits need to be baits. I'm not gonna say that are easy to catch fish on, but that are almost gonna guarantee that we can get a fish on each bait. Because if we catch a fish on four of the five baits, we lose the challenge. So we need to be careful here. So first, I think I'm gonna start off at the soft plastic section. I might end up picking two hard baits out and then three soft plastics is probably what we're gonna go with. For the first bait, I really wanted to go with a fluke, but it doesn't look like they have them. That was my only worry about coming here to Walmart is because sometimes the fishing section doesn't have everything that you need. Since they don't have the fluke, let's go ahead and pick out a hard bait. So you guys know my favorite hard bait of all time is the chatter donk. You guys already know. And I have a feeling that Connor's probably gonna pick that out or maybe he's not. I don't know, we could go with the spinner bait too to actually switch it up. So maybe, look at this guys, right here. Look at the Strike King swinner, spinner bait. Swimmer bait, <laughs> like swimmer bait. That is just a regular white Strike King. I think that's gonna be our first bait that we pick out today. That looks pretty good. Ooh. What we got going on here? Guys, this right here, it's just a sash. I literally eat wake baits for breakfast, but wait, there's no wake baits. Unfortunately, we're still gonna get something. So I think we might go with like a crankbait. We'll either go with a 1.5, something like this, or a 2.5 would actually not be a bad idea. So I think that's gonna be perfect for us today. So we're gonna throw that one in the basket. All right, guys, so we got a spinner bait. I kind of want to go for a soft plastic. So looking at everything here, they primarily have some zoom baits. They got some yum baits and they also got some yum motive baits. One other thing that we got to pay attention to is the prices. The spinner bait was $4.37. I think we're going to be able to get away with this a little easier than Connor. Five baits for 25 bucks at Bass Pro might be a little hard, but here I don't think we're going to have a problem. So we got the spinner bait, $4.50. I think I'm going to have to go with the yum dingers, man. This is a basic little Sanko bait. Since they didn't have my paper bait, I'm going to pick out Noah's paper bait and hopefully it makes him mad. So let's see what they got. We got some chatter donk options here. I'd like to throw black and blue and I'm not a big chatter bait person, but I think black and blue would be the sauce for today. We're going to pick out this guy right here. Let's get that in the basket. And now we actually need to go pick out some soft plastic. So I'll explain to you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some tricks, but let's see if we can do it. We got $8 with two baits and we got $17 of spare. So let's go ahead and pick out one other soft plastic. This is something different. I definitely don't think Connor is gonna be going with the lizard today. That might be one that we have to go with. I wish I could get a different color because these are both dark, but that black with the blue tail, man, look how spicy that looks. That should get smoked, boys. Ooh, rage crawls. Okay, I'm gonna rig these weird. I actually rig them sideways on the bait. So when we're tying up today, I'll show you guys, but I'm also killing two birds with one stone with this bait. So I'm gonna throw this on my chatter bait, and then I'm also gonna throw this on a Texas rig. Two for one. All right guys, so we got a lizard, and we got a Senko for our soft plastics, and then we got a spinner bait. Let's see other options that we can get. I'm trying to think of like another hard bait that we could rock with. Oh, look at this. If we want to go with the top water, you got like that little 
walking bait. I just don't know if that's risky. Like, I don't know if a top water right now could like cost us the challenge or not. Ooh, look at that though. Okay, look at that lipless crankbait. That's a red eye shad. That thing is looking spicy. That's a great little natural color. I was hoping they had like a red crawdad color. It's not looking like they do. There you go. So you got a regular sexy shed and then you got this white one. My big thing is if I'm fishing dirtier water, I kind of want that chartreuse line. So I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. So that's our fourth bait right there. Lipless crankbait, red eye shad and sexy shad. I think that thing's gonna get smoked. So we've got two hard beads. We've also got one shot of plastic. Here's the thing though. I want to get me a big old worm. Let's take a look over here and see what we got. So I'm thinking something like a speed tail. June bug red is, is killer out here. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that guy right in the basket. On to the next one. All right, boys, final bait. One thing I wanna check just to make sure we're on budget. Yeah, lipless crankbait is six bucks. So we got six bucks. Spinner bait, $4.30. These are $3.30. I haven't taken math class in a while, guys. $4.30. How much are the Zoom ones? 13, two bucks, bro. We could honestly get an expensive lure, but I really don't think there's anything that's ultra expensive that I would want to buy, to be honest with you guys. But I think we're actually going to go lower than the budget than we actually have and smoke Connor because, you know, that's always the end goal. And I think I'm going to go with this black trick worm. I feel like we can go wrong with that. I just feel like that's the bait. So that's our last bait, zoom trick worm. Then we got the Sankos right there, yum dingers, the zoom lizards. Then we got the sexy shad lipless, and then we got the spinner bait. I think that's a good selection so let's go ahead and go check out we're gonna spend under 20 bucks which is awesome and then we're gonna meet up with connor and then get out to the pond and start to fish look at that with tax 25.46 we got a tight budget and i know a lot of top water things are pretty expensive but usually if you look hard enough you can find something that's uh that's in your your price range so ideally i would want to throw like a prop style bait we can't afford that though but what we can't afford is these booyah buzz baits if it's ever like a windy day the bash can really hear that thing taking it up on top of the water and usually it'll come up for a snack sit sit down bud I don't know the rules on uh, what we're allowed to fish today, but thinking, uh, thinking I'm gonna pick this one for my first pond. <laughs> oh, he turned his eyes on that one. That means they're gonna eat that. What about the chatter dog? Nope. We gotta put that one back. You know they have to love these June bugs. Come on. Okay, a little bit of movement there. Time to go meet up with Noah and get this challenge started. All right, boys. Time to go meet Connor. I'll catch you guys at our next location. This man is late. This man is late to the party. He's been enjoying himself too much at Bass Pro. Alright, what's going on, lady? <laughs> she's here to uh, tear up this competition. This guy thinks he's got some better baits than me. I don't know about that. Uh -oh. I, think, uh, I think we got the leading edge today. And you know what's crazy? You cannot show me your baits, and I can't show you my baits. So I do have a secret weapon. Noah doesn't know about it, but uh -oh. I have a secret weapon. What does that it's mean? It's not a wake bait. <laughs> what does I can that tell mean? you that. It's not a wake bait. Okay. But okay. You didn't get a wake bait? I did. They didn't have them. They didn't have them at Bass Pro, okay. which was so disappointing, but I got something else we can work with. All right, Connor. So this is the rules. Five fish on the five baits. So one fish on each bait. Whoever gets five wins the challenge. You're gonna hop in your car. I'm gonna hop in my truck. You can go to any ponds that you want, okay? It does not matter. But you gotta find the fish to catch the five fish to win the challenge. Yep. What you thinking? I like it, I like it. You like I think, it? I think I've got some ponds in mind. I think Noah probably does too, but we'll have to see where we end up. All right, well it starts now. All right, boys, it is time to get this challenge started. We have limited time because it gets dark in about an hour and a half to two hours. So let's go ahead and get the first spot going. I have a spot in mind that I actually haven't hit in five years and it has some pretty good fish in it. And it's only about 10 minutes away from here. So let's go ahead and get on the road and get to our first spot. Come on, people, we got some fish to catch. Come on, come on. Come on, people. We are almost to our first location. All right, boys. We have made it to our first pond. May not look like a pond, but I promise you it's over here somewhere. 
All right, so we're gonna grab us our little kicking combo here. We're going to take a walk over to this pond. If I had to guess, Noah probably picked out five chatterbaits that are different colors. But what Noah doesn't know is that I picked out a black and blue chatterbait. And we're gonna give that thing a shot here. Get this thing tied up quick. We wanna catch these fish fast today because I know Noah is gonna go out there and just spank them. We're gonna cut our tag end. And then all we need to do is throw a rage crawl on here and we are good to go. I actually rig mine through the side of the bait. So I stick it in the top and run this thing all the way down the bait. But instead of coming out the front or the back, I come straight out the side, pop that out, slide this up. So the motion of this looks like the tail of a bluegill swimming through the water and the bass will love it. All right, boys, here we are. Let's go ahead and get this started. First things first, we need to tie our first bait up onto my Kick in Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check out any of the Kick in Their Bass TV X Lose combos, you can check them out. Kickintheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports the brand. We have right hand bait casters, left hand and spinning combos, and they're all priced at a good price point. So they're affordable. All right, boys, let's pick our first bait that we want to go with today. So we have the black trick worms. We have the June bug Sankos. We have the black and blue lizard, all dark colors. And then we also have the lipless crankbait and we have the striking spinner bait. Out of all of these, I kind of want to get the ball rolling on a moving bait. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tie up this spinner bait and give this thing a shot. Our moving baits might be the hardest baits to get bites on today, or they could be easier. I don't really know yet. So I think it might be a safe bet to try to go ahead and bust out the spinner bait. Tie her on with a uni knot, slide her on down. I think we're good boys. Boom, baby. So I kind of want to bring one other bait with me and I could bring the Texas rig baits, but at the same time, I want to finish those back to back to back to be as most efficient as possible. So this might be my other bait that I bring with us. I'm just going to kind of put this in my pocket. So if we catch a fish on that, we can easily swap over. All right, boys, here is the beautiful spot that we're at today. Like I said, it's been about five years since I've been out here. I don't know really what to expect. I've caught some really good fish out here in the past. Um, I just haven't fished it in a long time. We're just going to kind of fan cast around with the spinner bait. Hopefully these fish are going to be biting good. It was actually raining earlier. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. If it's going to turn these bass on or turn them off. So let's just start casting around and see if we can get anything to bite. There's actually a pipe at the end down here in the corner of this pond that should have a fish on it. I've had a lot of luck before. So we're just going to work down this bank and uh, get down to that pipe. I always like to work the edges of the pond before I go walk down them because when you walk down the side of the bank you might spook some of the fish so before we actually walk down the sides i like to kind of throw around it just in case there's a big bass sitting right there oh my gosh that's got to be a giant what is there we go guys that's our first fish come on come on yes yes there we go, guys. Our first bait is already done. That is what we are looking for right there. That is a great way to start. This guy's a little skinny, a little skinny belly. We're gonna get him back in there and tie on our second bait. Boys, it kind of took me a little longer to get to this spot than it took Connor to get to his. So honestly, I'm a little nervous. Like, I don't know if Connor's caught a fish yet. He could already have caught two. He could have caught three. I mean, he could have smoked these fish. It didn't take me forever to get here, but just me rigging up and everything. I mean, it did take a good second. I'm actually going to speed speed cast here. I'm just going to walk and cast. I feel like that's an efficient way for me to get bites pretty quick. And uh, if we need to move ponds, like if this pond's just not working out, we can always move to the next spot. The size does not matter today, but I would love to catch some freaking tanks. And I know they live in here. Oh boys, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous, man. I just want my first fish so bad. I just want to bite. Oh, look at that boil right there. Oh, it looks like there's a wake. Come on. This looks so good in this pocket. It's two different wakes that I've seen. We should get hit right here, guys. Yep. Oh my God, he came off. That was a good bite. Oh, he, did he break my swim? Oh, he didn't break it. Okay. He did hammer it though. First bite of the day, that makes me feel a lot better. Look at that. Another big boil off the bank, man. These fish have pushed up shallow. I thought it might be tough today for a top water, but as much activity as I'm seeing, it might've been a good choice. I wonder if Connor picked out a top water. If I had to assume, he said his wake bait they didn't have. 
I would have had to have thought that he would have picked out a top one. So I said I want to start off with a spinner bait and get it done, but I've just only had that one bite and time is ticking. I'm kind of getting a little nervous. Connor could almost be done with the challenge for what I know. That's the cool part about this challenge. We don't know what's going on. I don't know what he's throwing. I don't know what he's caught until one of us catch five fish. That's the only way we know. So I want to tie on this red eye shad by striking and see if we can pick a fish off out there in the middle. I think I can beam this out off that point and possibly get a bite pretty quick. Spinner bait, not a bad idea. It's just, I don't know, that one bite that I missed kind of hurt me. All right, boys, we're on the other side of the lake. Let's see if this changes our luck. If it doesn't change our luck, we probably need to move spots. That will probably be a sign to say, Noah, you need to get out of here and get on board. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. I think it's a big one. Oh, no, it's not. This is a nice fish, and we're going to take that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. There's so much goose goose duke all over the ground. Adam hooked under the jaw, dude. That fe fish felt so large. He's bleeding a little bit. We're going to try to get him back in the water as quick as we can, but we're on board, guys. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. I'm sorry that tore you up a little bit. There he goes. Heck yeah, boys. I was starting to get nervous there, but we're on board now. What sucks is when I cut off that spinner bait, I left it in the back of my truck. So we gotta run back over here and tie back on, but we are on board. I feel a lot better than I did five minutes ago. I hope we're giving Noah the work. We're on to bait number two. I wanna throw this buzz bait around the edges. So we're gonna tie this thing on with a little uni knot and hopefully get us onto our third bait. Let's see if we can do any damage with this thing. Another thing too, with a bait like this is I would pull this out on like a rainy or windy day because the clacker on it just makes so much noise and, and really alerts those bash and gets them to come eat. But it is one of our baits, so we're gonna throw this thing around and hopefully we can catch a fish and get onto our next bait. So there's plenty of ways to work this bait as well. You can kind of pop it, just straight reel it. Sometimes changing up your retrieve can get those finicky bass to bite. There's a bass anywhere in here. It's gotta be in that corner. Let's give it a shot. We gotta be patient. We gotta work these edges. We gotta hope for the best. I think we're gonna get smacked here. There he is. Oh my gosh, okay, we're, we're, get, we're getting there. That is not a big fish, but it still counts. That's gotta be my PB right there. That is just a unit of a bass. Well, we're gonna throw him back and we are on to bait number three. I probably should go to a different pond. And uh, if they're not buying it that one, I can always go back to this one, but I'm just not feeling that spinner bait here. So let's go ahead and hop in the car and head to our next spot. We are heading to pond number two. I think this pond is gonna give Noah the work. And one good thing is that this car I'm driving has a thousand horsepower so we're gonna get to the pond in no time i got a good walk to this next pond so i'm gonna prep in advance i'm gonna grab two sankos throw them in this lizard bag and then grab two of the black trick worms and throw them in the lizard bag as well we can easily put this in our pocket without a problem and then we need to grab some hooks and weights grab a couple weights and a couple extra wide guy hooks boy all right we are good to go we should be able to do whatever we want down at this pond put these hooks and weights in here and this lipless crankbait is done for the day we're gonna tie the spinner bait back on try to get that done and then we'll switch to the texas rigs once we catch one on this oh. i'll catch you all at the pond that looks so good it's amazing guys gotta be a big girl in that corner look at that if there is a spot that we have gone to oh oh no that is not good boys that is not good bro looks like i'm not gonna be able to get this bait guys messages oh oh my god dude no shot no shot that i just got that back okay we have not had many good signs today and i take that bad sign right there as a good sign if we can just clutch up here and catch a freaking fish man oh my gosh that was almost a disaster finally got to a money looking juice hole and i almost had my bait gone that would have sucked 
got to get past the spinner bait, guys. Time is running out. Right on the edge of that willow tree looks spicy. And there's an alligator. Oh, I just got hit. Big and boys. Big and boys. Monster. Monster. I'm talking giant, giant. I'm talking like mega, mega. Oh my gosh, and there's a gator in the distance. I can't let him get near this. This is a giant fish, guys. I can't even move him. I can't even move this bass. Oh my God. Like this could, could every bit be of eight plus pounder. Oh my God, it's a 10, 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 it's a 10 pounder, it's a 10 pounder, it's a 10 pounder, baby. It's a 10 pounder. Stop it. Oh my God, it's caught a 10 pounder. It's a freaking 10 pounder, baby. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just got a freaking double digit, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Look at that fish, boys. Oh my God. All that time on the spitter bait, I did not have a bite and I just caught a freaking double digit. It's unbelievable. Look at how big that freaking bass is, man. I cannot even believe it. I've been carrying my scale, but except for today because of the challenge and I just caught every bit of a nine to 10 pounder. I cannot even believe that. I cannot even believe that. What a freaking bass. I'm gonna let her go. Wasn't the prettiest release, but that is a behemoth, man. And we are on to bait number three. How could this challenge get any crazier? I know we're not going by size today, but man, that was worth every second of waiting on a bite on that spinnerbait. Guys, I am shaking. I'm talking shaking. When I felt that fish eat that thing, I knew. I knew that that was it. I wish we had a scale. I promise you that fish is over nine, 100%. There is not a question about it. I really think she would have hit 10, but you know, we're just gonna say that that is a big fish since we don't have a scale, sadly. Pond number two. We got some options here. So these are our three baits that are left. We just wrapped this one up. We're gonna throw this guy into the mobile tackle box there. And I would like to tie on the soft plastic because honestly, I think that's the quickest bite that I could get, but I need to get this out of the way. And once I tie on a Texas rig, I can just switch these out and it's a lot quicker. So we're gonna go ahead and tie on this 2.5 KVD and see what kind of damage we can do with this thing. Got all these dang turtles in here and they ain't got no bash. If we can't knock this bait out, we ain't gonna be winning the competition. All we need is one, one little bite. One bite, that's all we need. I think we might have a little bit of a struggle trying to get past this bait, but I think our best option here is to hop back in the car and head to the next pond. Mother of Pearl, look at this place. This pond is really shallow. Like I'm, I'm hitting bottom right now and I'm not even reeling the bait, which means this pond is only two to three feet even out in the middle, which is gonna be a little too shallow for us working this, this bait. It's probably not very effective, but I don't really know how else to work this thing in here. Can't get it to run without digging up that bottom. Oh my gosh, I just got slammed. I just got slammed. I burn this thing through here. Oh my gosh, I got a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just hammered it. That is that. Mm, there we go. Come on, boys. Get him in, get him in. Mm, mm. That's what I'm talking about right there. No, 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 no. Finally just decided to burn the crankbait as fast as I can. And I got this big girl to come out and eat. Let's get her back in the water. And then we got to go tie on our fourth bait. Thank you, baby. Here she goes. It is time to move on to our soft plastic. I'm gonna go with the Senko here. To make this even crazier, I thought that that gator was gonna freaking give me some trouble. And I'm like, I knew how big this fish was when I hooked it. Surprisingly, that gator didn't come over. What are the chances of us hooking one dang near a double digit in a freaking challenge, man? That's the biggest challenge bass I've ever caught. All right, guys. I am spundled up. I am shaking. I don't know what to do. Uh, that was the most like surprising catch of my career. And we just tied a Sanko on. If there's a bait to throw, it's definitely a bottom bait on the edge of these trees. I mean, these fish gotta be out there. So we're gonna keep on casting around, see if we can hook up another fish, get on our third one. Oh, there we go. Another big one. Oh. He's stuck in the tree, boys. 
Oh my God. Either came off or I just had the limb the whole time, but I swear I felt a head shake. Guess it was a tree pounder. <laughs> I thought I had another freaking double digit on boys. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he came off. That one felt freaking nice, dude. I like never had him hooked. He literally hit it and ran off with it. So I had like no pressure leaning into him. I just heard my rod go zzz, zzz, and that was it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dude, I thought he had it. I felt like my bait never hit the bottom and he was just holding it in his mouth. Definitely something with this spot. Little corner, bunch of wind pushing up in here. It's got to hold more than one. And that's why I got a big one right there. <clears throat> Not a big one, but a freaking two and a half pounder. Good fish, boys. On to bait number four, baby. Let's go. I missed that one fish in that corner. And uh, this puppy came up and ate it. Not a giant by any means, but that is a really good bass. And I will take him. Thank you so much, baby. Good two pounder. Had to throw him we're off a big hill let's go we are back at the old lamborghini tying on our next bait we're done with that bait i think we're actually going to start with the rage tail so we're just going to texas rig this thing up and keep going once again we are tying up with a little uni knot here we're going to pull that nice and tight and guys we're going to start off with the blue rage crawl i don't think you can go wrong with either of these baits they're both great colors i just have a ton of confidence in the rage crawl definitely one of my go-to baits when i'm not throwing the old weak bait out there we're going to texas rig this poke it through the head i'm going to pop it out one side slide that all the way up and then what i do is i poke it through this other side and stuff the hook right back into it there we go guys looking nice and spicy we're gonna shove these in our pocket and we're gonna head back down to this pond all right boys back at the old nectar factory see how long it takes us to get a bite on this rage crawl this is probably the best bait i could throw here i think our strategy is just gonna be oh oh my gosh i got it that's another giant. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That's a unit of a fish. Oh man, these fish are aggressive, let me tell you. Oh boys. Look at what we have gotten ourselves into. Holy cow. Look at that absolute behemoth of a fish well boys there we go that is what we are looking for i just knew throwing that rage crawl in here that a big girl like this would come out to eat and oh my gosh that is a fat fish let's get her back in the water thank you baby here she goes all right boys two more bites is all we need i have not heard from connor so who knows he might be on his last bait so we still need to hustle the reason i was wanting to put on the soft plastic as the last bait was one i thought i could get bites a lot easier but two i can simply just rig them up this way like i don't have to cut off i don't have to retie we're not wasting time so we're gonna move on to this black and blue lizard i think this is gonna be the secret sauce for this place i think we're gonna get hit pretty quick another pond with the old lizard never been here before either so i guess we'll see what happens oh my god well that was a fish i guess there's fish in here that honestly startled me man especially with some of these ponds having gators i've been kind of on a little higher alert than normal but i guess there's bass in here well i guess some people fish here and guys i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up put it in my pocket make sure you don't litter your plastics guys you know dogs can get that stuff any animals you know that stuff ain't good for you so definitely if you like mess up your plastic or something, just, just put it back in the bag or put it in your pocket. That's usually what I do. It takes two seconds and uh, definitely helps animals from getting that. Even in the water, don't throw them in the water. You know, them fish, you don't want them fishy and all that. The plastic ain't made out of anything that we want in those animals. Is there fish in here? Bro, I just saw some wake right there. No way. No way, dude no freaking way in the little creek and we are on to bait number five now guys oh my gosh what a savior of a catch right there that was clutch man walking over to where this canal leads and i ended up catching one in the swamp let's go boys that's fish number four for me 
we're on the bait number five. Seems pretty obvious that this pond holds some giant bass in it. So I don't want to take any chances of losing this competition. And we are just going to go ahead and retie to make sure that this next fish gets landed. We're going to go ahead and put on this Super Solid Plus Ultra Vibe Speed Worm June Bug Red. We're going to put this thing on. Nice little Texas rig. We got that thing rigged up. Let's, let's toss this thing around and see what we can do. I've got a good feeling. These fish are hitting the bait so hard. And really all I'm doing is kind of dragging it. It feels like there's lots of limbs. You can see all the trees hanging in the water. And with a worm like this, you can you can really pop it. I like to drag them. Just looks a little bit more natural on the bottom. Guys, another thing too, when you're throwing a worm, you can honestly like kind of reel it and then let the bait sit and as that bait falls it looks more natural and then you can kind of drag it on the bottom there's no wrong way to fish it it's just always how i've done it oh my gosh i just missed the giant i wasn't paying attention oh that would have been the competition right there okay we gotta we gotta throw back at that fish oh my gosh he took my whole worm down i don't know if i stuck him he might eat again let's throw this thing back in there come on buddy there we go when I'm working a soft plastic like this, I never really use the reel to move the bait. I'm always doing it with my hand moving the rod. So another thing too is like, you, you can cast in one spot a lot of times and not get hit. It, oh my. There he is. There, get up here. Get up here, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is our final fish, and we have just won the competition. I'm not very proud of this one, but this fish is the competition winner. Little bite, but I appreciate it as always. Thank you, buddy.